Hello. Uh, today I'm going to do a green fish curry. It's a Parsi dish. Um, I think it's absolutely delicious. Uh, so let's see how it goes. So first of all, what we need to do is get hold of the fish. I've chosen cod cheeks and I'm going to uh, squeeze some lime into it. It's about four teaspoonfuls of lime. Uh, I want to get um, uh, so I'll, I'll get this line here going and uh, do buy limes by the way from the market. I've just got 10 limes from North End Road. Uh, that is not enough. I want to do more. Um, I think, you know, when you think that the co-op charges 42p, so I'm going to turn this over for one lime. I think it's ridiculous. Now, cod cheeks are a brilliant form of fish protein because they're solid <clears throat> even in uh, good fishmongers they um, only cost about 16 um, 16 17 pounds a kilo and it's all it's all protein so this is going on again uh, more more lime and then we leave that to marinate for um, about 20 minutes so that is enough now. Perfect. Okay, so then next I put in a tablespoon of poppy seeds uh, into this and I just grind it up. I was thinking of opium when I think about poppies. But this, uh, this is going to be delicious. There it is. So the next thing to do is to get the coriander leaves and mint leaves going on. I made a mistake of using the blender for that. Uh, it's much better in the Magi Mix. Oh, lovely puree, much better thing here. Okay, that's done. Yeah, I don't know why I put that in the blender. That was a mistake. Now, this next bit, I think is the most important of all. So we're gonna put in the blender uh, we're going to put in, uh, this should really be, uh, I would say, you know, fresh coconut, but it's going to be great. Let's just put it all in anyway. Um, you could never have enough coconut in your life, in my view. So that's going in. Uh, then you've got the um, fennel seeds, quarter of a teaspoon of those. Uh, fennel seeds are a great addition in your larder. Uh, I particularly like it on uh, red mullet, grilled, uh, also other fish too. Uh, a bit of ground mace. Now what's mace? Mace is the skin round, the shell round, the nutmeg. Did you know, by the way, that in the olden times, gentlemen would have a fob watch with a nutmeg grater because nutmegs were very expensive, and you wanted to put a little bit of nutmeg uh, grated on your food to show how important you were, rather in a way like being above the salt. Now we've got cardamom puree. Um, that's going a little bit in here as well. Not that much. And then we're going to put all the rest of this stuff in. Um, that's onion, cashew nuts, garlic. Uh, garlic, there's just about four or five of those five uh, green peppers. Then we're gonna have the cashew nuts. Gosh, I love cashew nuts. I remember having cashew nuts with my dear friend, Avan Etch, after whom we named our daughter, uh, in Seattle. And if you just think about it, the, the, you probably don't realize this, but the cashew nut, it's just that little bit on top of the fruit. So it's, it's you know, no wonder it's so expensive. So I'm going to whiz this up now. Okay, next phase. I'm uh, just going to put in a further teaspoon of, of uh, coriander uh, powder. This is not coming out, which is always annoying. So I'm going to just open it up here. Great stuff. I always often wonder why it's so dark when the actual leaf is so green. Anyway, I'm just going to add water to this and make a little puree. Right, now it's time to make the sauce. 
Um, I've got my pan. I love this pan. It's a French pan. They do understand about this. I'm putting some cumin in. So that's just like a teaspoon for getting that going. Now, next phase is this wonderful mix that we made earlier. Oh, that looks so good. It's all going in. Always good to have a squeegee getting it out. Love this. It's when this curry sauce comes together after you've mixed all the spices and you understand about how people in India make this amazing stuff. I do recommend, by the way, that you wash up these, these things right away and put it away because they are very easily burnable. So that's going to go for seven minutes. During those seven minutes, we're actually going to put in the coriander powder paste as well, which is very nice and dark. You can see that there. Uh, oh, such a good smell. There seems to be enough of that, but I'm just going to get my squeegee going again. And then get it all out. And then mix it around. It's going to be very good. So, as I say, seven minutes with this chap. Right, seven minutes has now passed. You see this beautiful colour? This is obviously why it's going to be a green, um, a green guy. But... Um, this looks gorgeous. So I'm gonna put this in now uh, into, so it's coriander and mint, uh, squeegee again, so invaluable. I really like my Maggi mix. I, was, I'm, I always thought I was more of a chopper, but honestly, for certain things like short crust pastry, um, it's just fantastic, these things. Uh, so I've got quite an armament of French equipment. Um, knives, uh, blender, Magimix, uh, but I like my chopping boards to be, if possible, Brazilian or English oak. Uh, I am, after all, English, really, but um, I like to think I'm Brazilian sometimes. So, <laughs> but anyway, English oak reminds me of my heritage, um, of which I'm proud, obviously. Um, and oak is a wonderful thing, I think. Uh, in fact, all the wood we have in this country uh, is magnificent. I particularly like cherry tree for umbrellas. But that's another story. By the way, you wear an umbrella rather than carry it. Right, so this is now ready to uh, have the fish going in. But first of all, we put in the rest of the lime. So my an extra lime. I also put in a teaspoonful of sugar. Uh, you know what I think really is good is jaggery, which is the Indian palm sugar. So 300 uh, milliliters of water, uh, and then you, you bring it to the boil. So we'll put that up a bit. And then, then we're gonna add, add the fish, uh, and then it'll be cooked. So, uh, very exciting. What's this? Well, this is rice I cooked on another day. But you know, if you use the Thai glutinous rice, it's so good second time round. You make it like rice cakes. It's very much like the rice that the Thais um, barbecue uh, on the beach, which is so good with sweet corn and they make the green papaya salad. So I think this is very good. I'm gonna have a little spinach as well, just to keep in with the green theme. Um, so the fish will go in shortly. So now it's boiling nicely. I'm going to turn it down a bit and I'm going to put in this marinating cos cheeks. Probably won't put in all the marination oil. I never, I never feel like one's supposed to do that, but it's fine to have a little bit in. Um, and then we're going to cook this for like five minutes or so. Um, Maybe a little bit of it. Right, so um, just going to stir that around. It's very green. I've never been to Kerala. Uh, that's another green curry place. Uh, this is a Parsi dish. 
um, it should be it's looking looking pretty good so uh, at the moment of truth I'll do another photo so it's ready now I'm just gonna try this I always think of Graham Carr and the Galloping Gourmet but let's just look at this lovely color Oh, it's got so many things going on. That's because it has so many things going on with it. This is the amazing thing about Indian food, that they have so many different spices. And if you obey instructions, uh, you're going to get it right. This is a great dish. You can put anything in it. You can put chicken in it if you want. Um, absolutely love it. I will show you the finished article in one minute. So here it is. Don't worry, I'm not gonna be mean and give this only to one person, but my friend Sally said you put far too much on the plate. So did my friend Jonica, and they both know what they're talking about. So I'm doing little plates now <laughs> to show the finished article. The sauteed rice, this glutinous rice, very good, a little bit of spinach, also from another day, but then the cod cheek with this great sauce. Um, it's going to be very good. Have a lovely afternoon.